Chart Practical Podcast? Yes. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Welcome to State-Funded Behavioral Add-on, CRM Submission Steps. My name is Jean Gregory Kepner. I'm the Prior Authorization Manager. Currently, with Behavioral Add-on, your submissions are through our Behavioral Add-on email inbox. Then they are assigned, reviewed, and then sent back to you with decision. We have now automated this, and it now lives in our new assessment center, which is located in CRM. How this presentation is set up is the following. We'll go through a few steps, and then we will show you step-by-step -step with screenshots. This way, you can see each step that is necessary. And then later on, you can use the slides that don't contain screenshots simply as a checklist for your ease. We're hoping this new system will be easier for the user and also expedite the process here at DODD. Let's get started. How do I create a state-funded behavioral add-on form. Go to the individual record in the new individual data system, IDS, click on the IDS tile, or imagine for the Imagine counties. Click on the individual's tile. Enter name, or you can use the DODD number to complete your search. Click on the name of the individual you are working with. Please verify it is the correct individual. Then you will click on our new Assessment Center tile from the Individuals tile. You will see in upcoming slides that there is a plus sign to the right of the screen. When you click that, then your request form will pop up in the system. This is your login page. This is your landing page. It might vary based on your default settings. Choose IDS, Individual Data System, from Microsoft Dynamics CRM dropdown. Imagine counties will choose Imagine. Please note the arrow so you can follow along. Choose individuals from IDS drop-down. Now you will see a list of active individuals on the active individuals page. You can select an individual, or if you note the arrow to the right, you can use this search field that we talked about earlier either by name or DODD number. Double click on the individual. The individual home page comes up. <laughs> Please note that this is the correct person you are looking for. Then let's go to our new assessment center. Select the assessment center from the individual name drop down. Individual Assessment Center, click plus on the right-hand side across from the type of assessment that you want. Here we have the Active State Funded Behavioral Add-on. That's the assessment we want today. So I move over to the far right and I see a plus. I want to click on that. The new State Funded Behavioral Add-on request will pop up. Please note to the left, you know that you have now landed on that page. Let's talk about state-funded behavioral add-on completion. Submittals can be up to 90 days in advance. Create a non-waiver span if needed in your Medicaid services system, otherwise known as MSS. Using the calendar or by typing enter the span dates of the request. 
please note, if there is an overlapping span, an alert will give you instruction. History is on the right-hand part of the screen. It will show those state-funded behavioral add-ons approved in CRM. It also shows those approved in MSS, both county-funded and state-funded. Remember, the behavioral add-on must be new. That means never had one or there is a gap when the individual did not qualify. Simply scroll down and answer the questions. The yes-no drop-down is to the right of each question, which is a little bit different than today's form that you use. Please remember at the top of the form, click Save to create a record. The state-funded behavioral add-on status changes the draft. It creates a record number in the heading and displays options. You can save, save and close, deactivate, and most important of all, submit to DODD. The draft will allow options to select a different waiver span. Fill in the proposed start date and end date. All the behavioral add-ons, both county-funded or state-funded, from MSS is displayed on the right-hand side. This way, you can assure that what you are submitting to DODD is, in fact, new. Complete the questions with relevant data and the mandatory fields pertaining to each question. The pop-up form is exactly the same as today's form. It just lives in CRM. The only difference is please note to the right of each elongated box, that is where your yes and no's are. You will have four questions that you need to complete. Remember, in questions two and three, you can simply copy-paste a snippet from your ISP or other document and paste in those boxes. Also remember that assessment can be as simple as a team assessment. And as a sidebar, there are no longer restrictive measures. So this could certainly apply to an individual with positive strategies. Request statuses. Draft means the request was saved, but it's still being worked on by the county board and has not been submitted. Submitted means the request was completed and submitted to DODD for processing. This will also result in the request being assigned to a DODD review staff. Need more information? means the submitted request was sent back to the county for more information and is back in draft form for the county to edit and, very important, resubmit. Withdrawn means the county withdrew the draft request prior to it being submitted. Deny means that the request was denied by DODD. Approved means that it was approved by DODD. Statuses are always in the right-hand side of the assessment screen and in the listing on the Assessment Center page. So you can always tell where something is in the system. For state-funded behavioral add-on completion and the self-waiver, boards continue to complete the self-waiver community respite unit. They will also have to enter the adult day waiver units for self. Again, this is in our automated system. The adult waiver units will be coming next month. Submittal and determination. Once the state-funded behavioral add-on request has been saved by clicking Save at the top of the screen, then at the top of the state-funded behavioral add-on screen, click Submit 
to DODD to submit the request. The state-funded behavioral add-on is automatically assigned round-robin to the reviewers. If no new information is required, the reviewer will simply approve. If more information is needed, an automatic email will be generated to the email contact identified on the state-funded behavioral add-on, indicating the information is needed. An automatic email will be generated to the email contact identified on the state-funded behavioral add-on indicating determination. State-funded behavioral add-on on, under notes and activities houses the generated emails and notes available at any time. Remember, save before you submit to DODD and any time you want to keep changes to draft, and it will be shown in the below pop-up. Please note the arrow. There's a pop-up after clicking Submit to DODD. You can click OK or Cancel. Upon submission, you will get a message successfully submitted to DODD for review. State-funded behavioral add-on status changes to submitted to DODD. The state-funded behavioral add-on form is read-only at that point for county staff. And note up here on the right-hand side, you can see exactly who that reviewer is and the status once again. When more information is needed, the board must resubmit. Yes, we have underlined that for high importance, because if it is not resubmitted, the reviewer cannot complete the request. The reviewer clicks on Need More Information tab, which generates an automatic email to the contact identified on the SFBAO. Assessment Center identifies the need for more information status, and this status acts like the draft for the county board to now edit the request. The bottom of the SFBAO has a selection called Notes and Activities. This stores the email from DODD. Once the board contact has satisfied the DODD request for information through email or phone call, Remember, the board contact must go to the Assessment Center, click open the individual SFBAO, and click on the Resubmit button to DODD tab at the top of the page. The DODD reviewer can approve, deny, or select Need More Information on the SFBAO request and can also add comments in the pop-up that follows up and continues with the reviewer decision if necessary. All selections generate auto email to the CB specialist. Medicaid Services System and Determinations. The top of the SFBAO as they go to MSS tab, you will land on Manage Individuals. The add-on span populates the span for the requested SFBAO. The board can use the Go to MSS tab to see the auto-populated span and checkbox. For denials, due process and a letter to the individual will be sent by DODD and live under Notes and Activities. Medicaid Services System and Determinations continued. Approved SFBAO spans will automatically be sent to MSS and stored in MSS. Approved spans will be added to the site for the person on the add-on page for the person whenever possible. When the person is not in a site, or not in the site for all or part of the time period, the add-on is requested. It cannot be added automatically. 
discontinued. When not possible to add the add-on spans into the cost projection site at approval, then the county will have to add the behavioral add-on to the person in the MSS site or sites. Upon adding a behavior add-on in the site, MSS will add the state-funded checkbox if the dates are covered by an approved SFBAO when saving updating the add-on. MSS will additionally tell the user that the span is only partially covered and to please adjust the dates when updating or adding a behavior add-on. This will also clue the user into if additional SFBAO requests are needed to cover the span. MSS will allow the user to edit remove any existing behavioral add-ons so that people can move to different sites and we certainly know how important that is today. Access to the Assessment Center. Any county board user who has access to view the individual record can view the Assessment Center data. Any user with the Assessment Center specialist role can enter the SFBAO request and submit AAI assessments. Anyone with an AAI user role will get the Assessment Center Specialist role added the night of the update. County Board approvers can contract DODD security and have it added to any existing role groups. Access to the Assessment Center. Anyone who does not have access to submit will need the Assessment Center Specialist role, and it can be added through a request to your county approver via the Update Access on the Department login landing page. This is currently listed as a standalone role group and can be requested. Please note the arrow. And finally, contacts for assistance. The state-funded behavioral add-on requests information can still go to BAO questions at dodd.ohio.gov and you most certainly can contact me anytime, Jean Gregory Kepner at dodd.ohio.gov. For the Medicaid services system, please contact MSS support at dodd ohio.gov. And on a final note, we certainly hope you enjoy and can utilize our new expedited process for state-funded behavioral add-on. Thank you.